Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangel Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please find me like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Child of God, hear me very well. The enemy does not have the capacity to make you incompetent. Yes. Those that came for you, they came for the wrong one. I, test, I tell us severally that it is only God that will tell his own child enough and it will be enough. It is only God that will tell his message and said, don't go and it will not go. So it is not those that came against his people that will say something that will make us to feel incompetent. No. There are so many people who feel embarrassed right now. Because all they have spoken to make you feel so incompetent of what God has told you, of what God has called you to do, they are embarrassed. Let me tell you one thing. I keep telling us in this place, God is not looking for people who are qualified. Hear me very well. If God was looking for people who were qualified, me and you would not have been included in the death of Christ. We will not have been included in that salvation. If God have called to look for those who were already perfect, me and you will not have been in the record at all. You see, for God to qualify you, you don't have to be a daughter of a bishop or a son of a pastor. Yes, there is this man of God who is so popular, he came from from another religion you know what i'm talking about the other the other religion he was the only one that came out from that family and he became a powerful man of god all over the world today as we speak hallelujah he was raised in a family that's, that that worship another god that worship a god you understand what I'm talking about. But when he was chosen, no matter the accusation, the enemy could not make him incompetent. That is why I tell you that don't allow people to make you feel incompetent of what God is using you to do or of what God wants you to do. I've encountered many people who were supposed to be ministers, but they felt that they are not incompetent to do it. No, God never looked for those that are qualified. He picked anyone and he qualifies them. He picked those that say, God, I am here. He qualifies them. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's just like no one qualified to wake up in the morning and said where well, I am qualified, whether I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning. Because you know why? Because it is not a right. It is a privilege that we see another day. Because if it were to be a right, many that went to sleep that did not wake up, they would have woken up, maybe some of them. Do you know that every day somebody died in their sleep? In this world that we are living. So, it, some of the things that just the way life is not a right is a privilege. So, also the calling of God is. So, also even that dream that you are, you, are, you are pursuing, it is. So, don't let people make you feel incompetent. You, you, you think if, if, if people like us want to listen to some things, we'll be here. There are people who will come and tell you, where did you come from? Is your father a pastor? Is your mother a pastor? Who taught you? You know, 
there are many things that, will, that, that you will hear, you will not want to press on. Child of God, those that came for you to make you feel incompetent of what God has called you to do, they are embarrassed because they are not in the position to do that. I pray, may you not feel less. May you not feel incompetent in what God says you should do in life. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.